Okay, um, so you can make a query using the select uh, the SQL code. Uh, another way to do it is to use the query designer. What we can do here is pick on query and then you pick on design query in the editor. Uh, now you're going to pick your table. So let's pick the order master. Yeah, I, I'm double clicking on order master and order details. You can pick as many as you wanted to. Uh, in this case we'll pick on close. Now if you are going to have more than one table of course, it would be very important to join the tables together on a common field. So I want to pick on order ID and drag it over to the order ID over here. Now that now they're linked together. Uh, now you can start picking your fields. So I'm, I'm going to pick on the order ID, the customer ID, the employee ID, the order date, and uh, let's say the ship country, and the order amount from the order master. And we'll get the product ID and the unit price and the quantity from the order details. Notice how it's actually building the code for you. So um, this this window, this part of the window up here has the actual tables. This window is where we can start to add criteria, and we'll do that in just a second. And then this is where it's building the actual SQL code for you. So uh, let's say this um, we want to do a sort on customer ID. So I'm going to pick on that. And make it um, make it ascending, and then the employee ID, uh, that, or let's say by order date, and we'll pick on that, make that ascending, okay? And uh, the sort order in this case would be two, but you can change you can change if you wanted to. Uh, the, the lower the number, then then um, it would be like it's going to sort first by customer ID and then by order date. Now over here, you can actually put criteria. Uh, so let's say we want the order date to be between, you know, the same kind of thing that we had before. We're going to have the dates in quotes like that. So you can type in your criteria and notice how that shows up uh, in your actual statement down here. So when we do that, here's how the criteria works. If something is in the same column, it becomes a logical end. But then different columns are going to be uh, ORs. So I can have this or this or this. Or uh, if you had more than one criteria in the same column, it would be this and that, or this and that. All right, as long as they're in the same column, then it would be an and. Uh, so at this point, when you're done with that, you can click on OK, and now you can see the actual query has has your code in there, and then you can run that as normal. Uh, in this case. Uh, something is not uh, correct there, incorrect syntax. So this is where you start to use the, uh, the, the message to help you out a little bit. So it tells you what line that it's going to be in. So if you look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six, and, um, oh, I see. Uh, this class manual one, uh, oh, this is from the previous query. I see what happened. So let's get rid of all this code. That, that really shouldn't have been there. We should have just started with a new query there. And now let's run that. And now you can see it did run. That is how we have fields from both tables. And then notice how it made that into what we call an inner join. All right, so that's how you can use the query design builder to start to build your queries. Watch again. All right, we did um, the query and then design query in the editor.